Hi guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my everyday makeup routine. Basically what I wear to school, to class, to work, or just if I feel like doing my makeup, it's pretty much some type of variation of this routine. And I was kind of in the mood to just film like a sit down video because I feel like the majority of my videos are like me running around doing things. They're just like vlogs, but I kind of just want to sit down and film something. So, so let's just get started. I pretty much always do my makeup like in the morning after my skincare. So I'll wash my face. I use this Coco Kind Vitamin C Glow Serum. I'll do my moisturizer, which I think right now I'm just using like the Cetaphil green moisturizer and then the Yerba Mate Good Molecules eye cream to get started. This is the Charlotte Tilbury Flawless Filter. I don't always use this, but it's kind of nice sometimes for being a little extra glowy. And I have the shade 4 if you're wondering. But I'll just put like that much on. And I feel like a brush is kind of what I like to use to blend this and then I will like go in with the beauty blender after. I really do like doing my makeup and wearing makeup. Like I think, like there's like a stark contrast in my classes. I feel like there's people you can tell they woke up like a good hour or two before class. They're wearing a super cute outfit. Their makeup is done. Their hair is done. And then there's people who you can literally tell just roll out of bed. And there's nothing wrong with either one. But I, I do like to like get ready for class and feel cute. Also, I'm literally always paranoid that one of those street interviewers that I see at my college like all the time and I always see the TikToks pop up. I'm always paranoid that they're gonna like see me as I'm walking and I'm gonna, oh my God, and if I look really bad, I'm gonna be like, oh my God. So I feel like that, that's why I also feel sort of pressured to like look kind of good on a daily basis. <laughs> Or I like to try on a daily basis because I'm also like this is a big school and there's a lot of people and it's scary out there. I mean, I don't know how else to explain it. So next, this is the Makeup Revolution Eye Bright. It's like a good contour. So if you don't want to buy the Charlotte Tilbury one, so I kind of do it up here. Then I'll do it on my forehead, like that there, and then I'll also do it on my eyelids right here and this seems like a time consuming thing but i feel like i have this process like down pat to when i'm doing this in the morning i'm like whipping it on like we're going fast so if you want a little life update i'm sure you didn't but in case you did i am currently about to graduate but it doesn't feel like i'm really graduating because i have to take spring and summer classes <laughs> And that is super annoying, but the reason that I have to, because I didn't like fully know what I wanted to do for college. So I first went to community college. I started figuring it out. I did get my associates of science at community college. And then I wanted to transfer here to the University of Michigan because I was like, mm. honestly, I was contemplating staying in Michigan or not. A big part of me was like, I want to go to some other cool state, but I don't think that I, I kind of don't think I could have done it. like such a big <laughs> Not that that's that big of a deal like people totally do it even when I'm here and I'm in classes I'm like surprised at some people like I was talking to this girl and she's like, oh, yeah Like where are you from and I was like, oh like an hour away from here and she's like I was like, what about you? And she's like Singapore. I was like She came this far. I was like, are you here like by yourself? She was like, yeah, like I was like, oh my god I could I could never, like, I'm so impressed that people can do that. I, I could, I'm sure I could if I tried, but like that, the prospect of that is so scary to me. The moral of the story is that I transferred here with too many credits, basically. Like they cap you at 60, I believe. So even though I have like all my requirements done, I need a few more credits because to technically fill like the residence requirement and just the credits, because like I said, they wouldn't take them all, which I think that's really stupid. But I honestly, I didn't really know how any of this stuff worked. I feel like it was such a learning experience for me. Just, I mean, the college thing in general, like the application process, the way that the credits work, like everything. I don't think I really knew what I was doing. I was just like doing what I was, supposed to be doing I guess and so obviously if I can tell my past self something you know it would be don't take so many credits that they can't transfer but I didn't know I thought I was being proactive by taking a bunch of extra classes and getting requirements out of the way you know what I mean so that's kind of unfortunate but I'm using concealer right now <laughs> this is the elf camo concealer I have the shade warm medium 
for the longest time I used Shape Tape Concealer, Tarte Shape Tape, and I thought that like I needed to buy that because I was like, there's no better concealer. But if I'm being completely honest, this comes pretty close. Uh, they're pretty similar. They're both kind of drying and they both dry pretty fast, but they're like fine. I just kind of randomly put it around my face wherever it's like red or whatever. <laughs> Blends in with my beauty blender. Anyways, so I am about to graduate. It's weird, it just doesn't feel like I'm really graduating because I literally have classes spring and summer. So the spring ones are in person, unfortunately. Um, one of them is online, one of them is in person, but I'm honestly kind of dreading it. It's a sediments class. That would not be my first choice. Not that I have anything against sediments. I do like geology and earth-based classes, but I, I'm more into the environment side. So I'm going into oceanography. That's like, like physical oceanography. That's like the career I am working towards. My degree is gonna be a Bachelor of Science in Earth and Environmental Science. And I have been really focusing on oceanography courses, but I needed some more credits in the spring so it does have a lab it's honestly it's it's like two days a week but it's really really long i think it's from like nine to twelve and then like one to three the lab and the lecture i don't know what that's going to be like but i'm a little bit scared for blush i'm going to use my glossier cloud paint in the shade haze with the enchant rare beauty like liquid luminizer anyways i'm taking sediments class like i said i'm kind of dreading that but i think how it's going to work out is like i'll be Oops. I'll be in Ann Arbor for sun. Oh my god, that's too much. I don't know what to do. I'll be in Ann Arbor like Sunday through Wednesday, and then I'll just go home on Wednesday because why would I stay here by myself for days when I don't even have class, you know? So at least that's good, and I think the spring ones are over in June, so at least I don't have to be here super long, but. It is kind of a disappointment. <laughs> you finish your classes in spring and summer, they still have you walk in the spring commencement. So that's next weekend. That's actually kind of crazy. Just bought my cap and gown and stuff. I don't know, it doesn't feel very real. It also doesn't feel like, even though I've been at this school for whatever, however long, I don't feel like I'm like technically a part of the school because I transferred here. Like, I feel like that happens with a lot of people, but I feel like I don't even go to this school. Okay, I can't say that. Obviously, I feel like I go here, but like, I don't feel, I don't know how to describe it. I don't feel as like worthy of being here or something because I transferred. <laughs> I don't know. It's like fine though. I don't really care that much. I just, it's like the best environmental science program in Michigan. So that's why I wanted to come here. But yeah, I just feel like this process of me being here and the process of me being in college in general has like taught me so many things. I guess like I've just learned so many things in the process not in like a big like revolutionary way but like in a analytical way like <laughs> things that i wish i would have done or things that i didn't think would be important but actually are or like regrets that i have i guess so like one thing is i really did not try to get um, like summer internships until last summer and i think that that was honestly a big mistake or not even summer internships but just like summer jobs slash and like unpaid like volunteer things related to my field and i never wanted to do that because i i literally was like why would i do some unpaid labor or work in a lab for like eight dollars an hour that's like the worst thing in the world why would i do that but i feel so inadequate that i didn't do that i feel like that put me behind or because i didn't volunteer at the like nature center every weekend for doing like environmental sampling or whatever i feel like that put me behind and i don't just so many things and like i should have started a linkedin like at the very start of college i didn't start one until a few months ago i didn't think that i was going to have to go to grad school like i didn't think that i was gonna have to get a phd and it's pretty much like certain that i do in my field of study and i didn't know that until a few months ago so i feel like there's so many things that now I know just just so many things that I didn't know like no one could have told me I guess but like I'm trying not to beat myself up over it I feel like it's gonna be fine things are gonna work out it's gonna be okay but it's stressful and I feel like I literally talk to people in my classes and they're like oh I applied to 80 internships for the summer I was like that must be an exaggeration but like it wasn't an exaggeration she's like yeah I picked the one I was gonna have like 
in November of last year, I already like signed the contracts and stuff and like, oh my God. And then people are like, yeah, I've been working in three different labs this, this semester just to get the experience, even though they're like unpaid or like paid very little. Like, I feel like that's wrong. I don't, I can't fathom doing that. Like I'm working at Target and I will randomly work there and that makes me more than I would make at the lab. You know what I'm saying? So like, why would I do that? I don't, that's good, but the thought of that, the thought of that, it's just appalling to me. Anyways, this is not supposed to turn into like a whole college rant. I just, that's like where my life's at right now. Um, Too Faced Milk Chocolate Bronzer. This is my favorite bronzer. It's not orange and it's just, it's perfect. Or thing that I feel like I just, like this realization I just had. By the way, I'm using this Morphe like eyeshadow brush and kind of just putting bronzer on my lids. Sorry, I feel like I'm just talking about random things and like not actually taking you through my makeup, but like you can see what I'm doing. Anyways, I had this realization, like I, not like a midlife crisis, but like sort of a midlife crisis. I was thinking, oh my God, this is, I'm a senior. How, first of all, how am I that old? I don't know. I feel like I was just in high school. Second of all, I literally, like I just connected the dots. Not really, but you know what I mean? Like that I'm, from now on, there's no like obvious next step. It's just like working for the rest of my life. Like I know that sounds really stupid and like obvious, but I feel like it's just starting to get very real because after high school, it, it's like the obvious next step. Like that's perfect, you're good to go. You go to college and then after college, then you're like, this is the real world now. Like college doesn't feel like the real world. It just, it feels like a little game. Not really, it's like a torturous game, but it feels like a game. Like you're like, oh my God, yeah, I'm like college, you know. Then it's just gonna be over and then I'm gonna be like, what do I even do with myself now? I don't even know. Anyways, I'm using some Laura Mercy. <laughs> it's like such a deep conversation and then I'm like, let's put on some makeup. But some Laura Mercier translucent powder. I don't know, I feel like reality is just really setting in it and I've been feeling so nostalgic all the time over like, I literally will just sit and be like, oh my God, I, sh I took my childhood for granted. And I don't think that I did. Like I'm sitting and thinking about it, I'm like, oh my God, life was so easy. Like things were so good. That's not even fully true, but you, you remember things, I guess, differently than they actually were. And like, I don't know, I've just been, I've been in a state of nostalgia for a long time. <laughs> Trying not to be so like heavy, I'm gonna fill in my brows with the e.l.f. brow pencil. I use the shade blonde. My eyebrows are not blonde, but when I use this, it looks right. It looks like it fits, you know. Also, my hair is getting really brown. My hair is naturally, like this is the color it is, but I've been bleaching it. I would say for insistent two years. I was just going blonder and blonder, and I was like, oh my god, it needs to be the blondest possible. I don't agree with that, but I was getting a little carried away and I then I was like oh my god I need to stop because I don't want my hair to be fried I value the length of my hair more than I value it being blonde I don't know why I don't know why I'm so attached to like long hair but I feel like I need it to be long I was like just coming to the conclusion that I would rather have my hair be long than I would have it be fried and blonde so I stopped bleaching it it's been like a year of me stopping getting highlights or like balayage or anything. I feel like now I'm really noticing that it was never like fully blonde, it was just like highlights. Like you can see, it doesn't, yeah, it looks pretty dark now, but like at towards the end, it's lighter like than it is up here, you can tell. But now I look at myself and I'm like, yeah, it's like brown now, it's like straight up brown because the, the blonde now starts like pretty, pretty far down. Like it's kind of crazy. And then I was like, literally yesterday I was like, I think I need to get highlights again like but I'm trying to slowly, like tell myself no and then you know you see the things where it's like your natural hair color is the hair color that fits you best I, I tell myself I'm like yeah this is the hair color that fits me best but then I honestly look at pictures of myself when it was like blonder and I'm like oh my god it looked so good like anyways though I just kind of brush them I like slightly fill them in you can see but then I'll do some form of like, powder blush this is like a becca palette that i randomly got a few years ago <laughs> and i'll use one of the pink shades and like probably this one and i'll kind of put that on as blush and i'll like creepy use it as eyeshadow so i kind of like my whole look to be 
bronzy, but also like pink and glowy. I've also been trying to really get into like my color palette and I feel like for the longest time I didn't know what my color palette was. I always thought it was warm toned and I still, I'm still torn about it. I still think that I am warm toned. Like I have like a yellow tint to my skin. I've kind of always been like olive. I think that my hair is a cool brown and my eyes are like a cool color. And every time I will do like the color wise me thing, it says a cool summer. I don't really think, like I kind of think that I'm a summer. I think that that's that's what I've like, the conclusion I've come to. What I like to do sometimes because it's like a softer look is I'll use this tiny Real Techniques brush and I'll use like a dark brown mixed with black and kind of just do like at the corner of my eye. And then like under my eye, I'll kind of just pack a teeny tiny bit close to the lower lash line. I kind of mentioned earlier that I didn't really think I would need to go to grad school before a few months ago when I was talking to the professors and he was like, yeah, he was kind of just telling me about his uh, life and his like experience with, I don't know, his career, which it was actually, it was like, it was good to hear about, but he was a geology major and he said that he graduated from the University of Michigan with a geology degree and he realized that he basically could not get a job with that or it would have no growth to like a position he would actually want to be in. And so he ended up going to grad school in like Florida. And he was kind of telling me, yeah, so if you thought about grad school, like what you might do with that? And I was like, oh my gosh. But like today, as I was looking at Scripps Institute of Oceanography, it was saying five years and the thought like i i was so happy to be almost done with college it has been so much stress just like so difficult some of my classes and i was so happy to be almost done so like when i kind of was made aware that oh yeah i might need to i need to do grad school i might need a phd not even just a master's but like there's no way. So yeah, the thought of me going to school for five more years, I can't even fathom that. So I think what I'm gonna try to do is see if I can get a job in my field and in the next year, because it's not like I even apply. Like it's not like I can even go in the winter anyways if I wanted, like in the fall. I wasn't even thinking that that was gonna be a thing until a few months ago. So I obviously would have to like wait, I don't even know. Anyways, right now I'm doing mascara. This is the Thrive Cosmetics. This is my favorite mascara and I will never go back. I feel like once you use this, maybe, you will just never want to use another mascara because it's amazing. I don't curl my lashes anymore because one time it cut off my eyelashes because the metal, like you know how there's like a little squishy part in between, it moved to the side and then the metal just clamped down and like the metal on metal cut them and I was horrified. So no more curling my lashes. I feel like it doesn't work anyway. <laughs> like it doesn't last. Also really, really want to do like a van trip for like a month before I get to the place where like I'm at a regular job and I can't take that time off to do something like that. I've been wanting to do, you know, a van build and all that for years. So I think in this next year where I'm like done and I have my bachelor's. This highlight was like my favorite product ever. I feel like I've had it for so long and I don't even know how there's still like stuff left in it. But it was the Glossier Play Nightshine. I love this. They don't make this line anymore. Like it's not even a thing. So I'm trying to like ration out whatever I have left. But I would put this at my inner corners and like my nose. One that in. Sometimes I use my Pillow Talk lip liner and kind of just randomly but I really just like lip gloss. Lip gloss is my favorite. I really like the lifter gloss from Maybelline so as soon as the shade opal pop that on top. This is how it looks in natural light. So that is basically the gist of how I do my makeup. Really hope you enjoyed. Thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video. Bye.